In the last video, we understood the working of shared pointers. They are great for sharing a memory among pointers, but there is a problem. Let's check this example and understand step by step. Here, car is a class that stores a pointer to its owner. And similarly, owner is a class that stores a pointer to the car. Each has its constructor and destructor. A constructor is called when an object of this class is created and destructor is called when the object is destroyed. In main, let's create an object of both classes using shared pointers. PS owner is a pointer to the object for class owner and PS car is a shared pointer to class car's object, which is created using make shared. What would be the reference count here? As only one shared pointer is pointing to each object's memory, reference count of both is 1. Let's assign the owner its car. So, PS owner's data member car is also now pointing to the memory object created here. So, the reference count of car's object would increase to 2. Similarly, if I assign PS car's data member owner to PS owner, reference count of this memory would become 2. Let's print both reference counts and run the program. Notice here that the destructor is never called and the reference count is 2. Now, when main ends, PS owner and PS car go out of scope. So their owning reference counts decrease by 1. But since each object holds a strong reference to each other, their reference counts remain 1. Even though PS owner and PS car go out of scope, object remains alive because their reference count never drops to 0. This results in memory leak. To solve this issue, we use weak pointer. A weak pointer is a non-owning reference. Since it doesn't own the object, it doesn't prevent deletion. A weak pointer does not increase the reference count. If the object is deleted, weak pointer doesn't stop it from deletion. It simply becomes null. Now, if we change car's reference to owner to be weak, that means, car is now storing a weak reference to the owner. The reference count of owner's object does not increase here, as no strong reference is there. And when main ends, owner goes out of scope and releases the object's memory. And when owner's object releases car, so its ref count becomes 1. And then car goes out of scope. The ref count becomes 0 and both objects are released. Notice that the destructors are being called here. That means both objects are getting destroyed. You can't directly use a weak pointer. To access the object, you first convert it to a shared pointer using lock and then use it. If the object is already deleted, lock will return null. And if not, you can use it safely. To summarize smart pointers, by default, prefer unique pointer for exclusive ownership. Use shared pointer when multiple owners are needed and weak pointer to break circular dependencies among shared pointers. Smart pointers make C++ memory management simple, safe and clean. Choose the right pointer and let C++ handle the rest.